Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to make a line graph in Tableau. As bar charts, a line graph is another type of chart that is commonly used in Tableau. The important distinction between the bar chart and line graph is that the line graph should include an element of time. So let's build out a line graph using sample superstore data set and we are going to use order date as our element of time. So you can just double click on sales and now you can see sales on the browse pane and in order to create a visual you can just double click on order date and you see you have a line graph on the screen. This is the easiest way. But there is a better way to make a line graph in Tableau. Let's get rid of this. As with measures, dates also have an aggregation and can be used as continuous or discrete fields. The choices you make for these two classifications has an impact on how the visualization will look. So it's easy to see all of the options instead of double clicking the order date dimension what we will do is you right click and then drag order date to columns and a window is going to show up on the screen as you can see each option let's say year has a blue and a green icon next to it if you remember that the blue color coding in tableau indicates discrete while green color coding indicates continuous the choice of whether you select a discrete or continuous option should be based on what type of visualization you want to create. Let's say you want to create a continuous trend over time, which means that for now we can ignore all these blue colors here and we will focus on the green ones. The next choice we have is how granular we want the continuous trend to be. So do you want year over year trend or do you want monthly trend or quarterly trend? This is how granular the date field is. For this analysis, let's say we want to see a monthly trend over time. So with these two requirements, first of all, the date variable should be continuous and the second, it should be a monthly trend. We are going to choose with a green icon with an aggregation of month which is the fourth choice from the button and then click OK. After you make this selection the line graph looks like this here on the screen. So the line graph that we created here can be sliced and diced by additional dimensions by simply dragging them to the column shelf or row shelf and dropping them in front of the continuous fields on the field. So in order to show you how this works, I will drag ship mode to the row shelf before some sales. Notice that by default all of each row share the same axis ranging from 0 to 60k, which is the largest range across in the entire dataset. This default setting where the axes share the same range is helpful because it provides us an apples to apples comparison. However, it could be difficult to see the trends for each individual row. So if you would like the four axes to have their own axis range, right click on any of the axes and then choose edit axis and you are going to see a dialog box where you can choose independent axis for each row and column and then close the dialog box. After making this selection you'll see your trend graph change so that each row has its own unique range. So this is all about how to make a line graph using a continuous data with Tableau. In the next video, we will talk about date hierarchies in Tableau. Thank you for watching.